Today I'm going to show you how to use MailChimp as a bulk emailing client. MailChimp is very easy to use and completely free for up to 2,000 emailings a day. So if you're a small to medium sized business with uh, a list that's under that size, I highly recommend it. In this case, I'm not going to show you how to create your own emailer. There's plenty of templates already created within MailChimp that you can select. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, configure and send an email based on an article on one of my client's accounts. And in this case, it's Liberty Pell which is a uh, wonderful website I highly recommend to people um, if they're interested in government and all the different ways that it doesn't work for you and me. Any case, the dashboard on MailChimp um, contains the following sections. Campaigns is basically kind of mislabeled. It, it really is just the emails that you sent out. So if you think of it as an email campaign, but these are just individual emails that we sent out. Here's a, a sample email. You can see into the valley of death and other consequences. Um, it's, uh, it, this is the format that they would see if they have an HTML enabled email browser. If they don't, they would see this. Um, yeah, this is the HTML source, details about it. Um, if you click on the report, about the individual emails. Um, you can view more detailed information. Um, apparently there were 48 opens within one hour and 14 clicks. And then uh, following results were distinctly less. So it's um, sending, obviously sending out an email um, at uh, a peak readership time makes a big difference. Um, Let's see. Otherwise, I suppose it just gets buried along with the other emails that come in during the next day. The uh, To create a new email, all you have to do is replicate the previous one. Now, this is going to send it to the entire list. You can have multiple email lists with MailChimp. It's fairly straightforward to configure one, and you could select one, but we're going to just choose send to the entire list. Click next. Now this date is obviously incorrect and since the new article name is totally different that's got to be changed so check the date it's now March 29th and the article that we're sending out is war and government business. So we'll change that here. We change the email subject we go into tracking. This is vitally important. Could just set the date, but uh, I like to give it a little bit of code in just so we can distinguish it from the other emails that were sent out in case you sent out two the same day, which is unlikely, but possible. Um, we're not doing any social media integration or anything like that, but you can connect to Facebook and auto tweet the thing. It's probably going to be something that you'll want to implement, um, but we're not doing it currently because you're sending them out. Well, my client in this case is sending them out um, directly through those venues. Um, okay, click next. Uh, this is the editor. This recently changed. You used to work directly within this, but now we have a two page structure where we can modify the page content here, stuff like that. You can, if you wanted to get into it, you could actually modify the theme of any one that you chose and make some significant changes. All we're doing here is uh, very straightforward stuff, so none of this is applicable really, um, except for, actually to tell you the truth, we're not making any design changes here, so don't have to worry about it at all. Um, what we're gonna do is just edit the, uh, the text here, and uh, the first thing I'd recommend is that we uh, change the title, since that's already in memory from the previous page, uh, and remove the link there. And now I'm going to grab this image here, copy image location, 
check to make sure it's the proper image. Good. And then I'm going to go into here, remove this image, change, click browse, even though we're not browsing, and we're going to import from a URL. You can browse to a file on your drive if you want, but in this case it makes much more sense since this is already posted on the web and it's been sized properly to post it here. Okay, and now that image is loaded here. Um, actually, it's not sized properly. Huh. Well, I know. Minor thing, but normally we're posting 560 wide, but this will work just fine. Um, in any case, and so now I'm going to go in here and edit this. We've changed the title already. I'm going to grab some appropriate text from the actual article itself, enough to engage the reader, but not give the entire story away because we really want to encourage them to come to the site. And um, I think that the uh, that that paragraph pretty much sums it up. Right there, so we're going to go in here. There, we've got that. We're going to save and close. So now this section's done. Scrolling down, we want to read the rest. That means we have to take the link to the page itself, edit this, and replace the previous one. Insert. Okay, now something. Be very careful with this. This little icon will make will basically gray this out, and it means that it's not going to show up. And that's why we had a corrected email earlier because the link did not show up because that inadvertently got clicked. It's very easy to click this while you're working on it. Um, I personally don't know why they did that because it doesn't look like a good idea to me. Um, the lead in. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Don't want to include the summary. I think this should whet their appetite a little bit. So I'm going to go in here, edit this, save and close. And now we have the article pretty much prepared. So um, the graphics been changed, the lead element here, the banner text, that, and the link. So we go to next. Plain text email. Ah, got to do that. So regenerate from HTML. Now you can see the lead in there, the correct link, save. So warn me, even though I skipped it, to do that. And uh, and now we just click send. And you can, if you want, schedule it to send it at a particular time. I'm going to just send this right now. And ta-da, we're done.